this is the last video for the school year. As you can see, I am outside and it's very warm out here. Um, I thought it went really well with our topic for today, summer road trip. So have you ever been on a road trip? Have you ever thought about planning and the budgeting that goes into a road trip? So I thought as we kind of prepare going into summer that I want to explore the topic by actually taking you back in time to a road trip that I took with my then boyfriend, now he's my husband. Um, we actually traveled for about three weeks across the western part of the United States. Um, this happened back in 2013. So since that was seven years ago, the prices that are going to be used throughout this video, they are about an average for the time, but obviously I'm not gonna remember exactly um, like how much was spent and the gas prices and everything like that. So. The pictures, the places, everything is, that part did happen, but as far as some of the math, like it's not exactly what it was. I just took some numbers and kind of went with it. So let's drive down memory lane and look at how much did it cost for me to do a summer road trip back in 2013. We left our home in Running Springs, California and traveled 362 miles to St. George, Utah, where my husband's parents lived at the time. Having a place to stay meant no need to pay for a hotel room, so the only part of the trip we had to pay for was gas. To calculate the cost of gas for the first leg of the trip, we first divide the distance of 362 miles by 26 miles per gallon to find that we needed 13.9 gallons of gas. Since gas was $3.50 per gallon, you multiply the price per gallon by the 13.9 gallons needed to get a total of $48.65. After spending a few days with the in-laws, we drove to a campground just above Sundance called Mount Tipinagos, which was 293 miles away. Just like before, to calculate the cost of gas needed to get there, divide the total miles driven by the miles per gallon of the vehicle, and then multiply by the price per gallon. It cost us $39.55 for the gas. Since there was a campground, we had to pay an entry fee of $20 for the night, and we had previously bought food for $25. So the total cost of the second leg of the trip was equaling $84.55. The next morning, we drove to Moran, Wyoming, which was to be our longest stay of the trip as we planned on visiting several places while camping there. The drive from Mount Tipinagos to Moran was 345 miles, costing us $46.45 in gas. We stayed at a campground for five nights at $15 a night, costing us $75. We went out to restaurants and cooked food on the campfire, costing us a total of $150. With the campground being our home for the week, we visited Grand Teton National Park, which was 7.7 .7 miles away, where we just missed a bunch of grizzly bears, Yellowstone National Park, which was 50.2 miles away, where we saw no animals whatsoever, and the town of Jackson, which was 30.5 miles away, where we had the best homemade pasta ever. The cost of gas for visiting these amazing places totaled to $11.91. Adding up all the expenses for this leg of the trip, the total cost was $283.36. One of my favorite parts of the trip was staying at Yogi Bear's Jellystone Campground in Estes Park, Colorado, which was 457 miles away. It was a very fun themed campground. The total cost in gas was $61.52. We stayed there two nights at $35 per night, costing us $7 to camp, and we spent $45 in food. Our total cost for the fourth leg of our road trip was $176.52. The last main stop of our journey was to visit my grandparents in Albuquerque, New Mexico for the 4th of July weekend, which was 506 miles away. Since we stayed with my grandparents for a few nights, that didn't cost us anything, so our total was just the cost of gas, which was $60.12. We decided to break the drive home into two parts, and we stayed at a KOA just outside of Flagstaff, Arizona, which was 320 miles away. The cost of gas was $43.08. The cost of one night stay was $27, and we spent $15 for food. So the total cost of the sixth leg of our trip was $85.08. After about three weeks of being on the road and camping, we finally made it home, which was still 446 miles from the Flagstaff KOA. The cost in gas to get us home was $60.04.
so as you can see from all of the math we did throughout that entire video, road trips are not cheap. Um, you need to make them well planned um, if you want to maximize your time and your money. Um, the trip was so amazing. I have so many great memories from that trip. Um, it's also how I found out, not really found out, but definitely solidified the fact that I'm a bear magnet. Um, there had been some other instances, but you know, running into a grizzly bear, we named him Fred, um, was definitely one of the more exciting parts of the trip. So as you begin planning your summer adventures, remember, one, always leave room for beef jerky because you can't have a road trip without beef jerky. And above all else, have fun. So I hope you guys have an amazing summer. I love you. I miss you. Please keep please keep in touch. Um, however you want to get a hold of me, email, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever it is, um, please keep in touch because I really do love you and I miss you guys. And I'm sad that I'm not going to be with you guys next year, but you guys are always going to be be in my heart. I love you.